Okay, so I did a thing, and I ordered like three boxes from Uline. Started at, um, I saw someone talking about their gamma lids. Also, my printer is going right now, but I have to print out school books, so you're just, if you can hear it. I'm not sorry, school starts in like four days and I need to get printing things. Um, so it started with gamma lids, and then I started looking at their gallon jars, and then their half gallon jars, and then I'm like, well, if I'm buying gamma lids, then I should buy buckets too. And next thing I know, I have three giant boxes. So, I'll go through the cost with you guys in a bit, but let's unbox these. I haven't even opened them yet. Although this box is a little bent and there's packing peanuts coming out the side, so I hope it doesn't make too big of a mess. My kids are really excited for these boxes. Well, they gave me multiple Uline catalogs. Just what I wanted, right? Oh, guys, there's so many packing peanuts in here. Ooh, we got the gamma lids. Okay, so a gamma seal lid is a food safe, airtight, pest proof, easy to open lid that works from a three and a half to a seven gallon bucket. Um, so you need to use like a rubber mallet to get them on the five the bucket. I got five gallon buckets, but then after that, they um, just twist off and on. So, especially for kids, is the one of the primary reasons is that it's easy for them to put the lids back on properly versus standard five gallon buckets or not. I'm gonna talk a bit more about like some of the decisions behind buying all this once I'm done unpacking. Okay, so I ordered 10 dozen canning lids. They're small mouth. They cost a bit more than at the store, but there was no limit. So I bought 10 dozen. And this pail opener, I'm not really sure it's use. I think it's if you wanna get the gamma lid off of the five gallon bucket, because apparently they're kind of tough to get on. Um, it was free if you spent over $150 on buckets and supplies. So I ordered 13 of these. I ordered all blue. 10 are for me and three are for my mom. So I'm not gonna take them all out of here because there's like hacking peanuts galore. Okay. This is a box of Let's come around in front here for a second. <laughs> half gallon jars. So they are not the um, like canning jar half gallon jars. They are um, maybe I should have gotten a knife. Can you knife? So they're not canning jar ones. I bought them for food storage. And one of the reasons I bought them, the canning ones cost similar, maybe a little bit cheaper, but they're really hard to find right now. And I wanted them for food storage and I figured if I couldn't can in them, I wouldn't steal them for food storage. I mean, for like, for canning. Did you ever get that where you're like desperate and you need more jars so you start going through your pantry for what you can empty? So, they are so cute. Um, I'm gonna have to be careful that they don't get stolen for milk jars because I could see that happening real quick. So these have a nice metal lid on them. Um, that is a nice jar. It's a nice jar. I'm a little nerdy, but I, I appreciate a good jar. These came six to a case, and I bought two cases. There is so many packing peanuts. What does one even do with these things? Ugh. What a blight to society. 
Like they're all stuck in the lids too. Ah, brutal. a dozen of the glass gallon jars, but they only had plastic lids. However, we have quite a few milk jars that have really bad lids to them. So um, I'm gonna sort through and all the ones with really bad lids are gonna become dry goods storage, like if they have rusty lids and such, and um, I'll replace them with these. So here's our gallon jars. So they still have a good lid to them. There you go. Um, they just only had plastic lids. Apparently they have metal lids in like November or December, but I wasn't gonna wait. Um, I'm one of those people that sometimes when you decide you're gonna do something, you just have to jump on it. So these are four to a case and I ordered a dozen of them as well. the inside of this box like full of packing peanuts um this is either half gallon i think these are more half the other half gallon jars now let's go on to this box here i'm assuming this one is my five gallon buckets they sure know how to use tape then you line even up with this box. There you go. This box opens funny. My kids are so excited for these boxes. Wait. They don't care what mama orders. They just want the box. Okay, so I think this full of packing peanuts blight to society. I have to get these all cleaned up for my kids get back. My kids oh, focus on me. There we go. My kids are with my sister-in-law right now. I would not open these up if Rowan was here and awake. But I'm gonna bag these all up. And there isn't even anything that says like, you know, these are the ones that dissolve in water or anything. So I don't even know what to do with them. Ugh. Yeah, so these are my other eight gallon jars. So I ordered blue to match the lids and so that it would very much be like the blue buckets are food buckets. These are not feed buckets. These are not put your gross things in like fishing bait to let it rot in my buckets. To a certain husband of mine who has done that to good buckets before. Also, does your family denote like good buckets? Like that's a good bucket, right? Like. There's good buckets, and there's like, you know, it's a good bucket. I bought their economy line. They did have fancier ones, but I'm not that fancy. Five gallon bucket. So these match. These. And it's very, they don't, they don't quite match. That is a different blue. So 
I need like a rubber mallet to get these on. They're hard to get on. And, um, but it'll be very much like the blue buckets are the food buckets. There we go. Blue buckets are food buckets only. This has gone on for a bit, so I'm gonna have to do a second video in which I fill all these buckets in jars. But that's gonna be exciting too. But I did have my packing slip here. So, um, make sure I'm not giving you my address. The Gamma Seal lids, um, I ordered 13 of them and they were $10 each, so three of those are my mom's. I'm gonna give you their like list price and then I'm gonna tell you what tax and shipping were because the shipping was a lot. And then I'll give you what it works out to be like after those things. One gallon glass jars with lids were $4.55. The 12 to a bag canning lid, so ten, so a dozen a bag. I got 10 dozen, 320 a bag, half gallon. Like, who thought that these were an acceptable thing? Like, oh. half gallon glass jar with metal lids were three dollars and fifty cents, and I ordered a dozen of them. Five gallon Uline economy pail. 10 of them, 6.52 a pail, and then my pail opener was free. Shipping was $130. So the total was $508. 130 of that was shipping. 54 of that was tax. So the total was like 383, something like that. Basically it worked out to that every dollar that something cost, add 54 cents for tax and shipping, 12 cents in tax alone. For every $10, add $5.40. So the gamma lids that were $10 each, I have a feeling that I'm gonna be picking packing peanuts out of things forever. $10 gamma lids worked out to $10.54. Um, the gallon jars, which are $4.55, work out to like $6.75. So you definitely have to account for shipping and all that jazz, but Honestly, there's nowhere else that I can even buy this quantity of stuff. The only other place I can buy gallon jars, the limit is four per order and I don't order from them but every month or two. And then they were sold out so then I couldn't even get any of them. And their half gallon jars are like these short ones which I don't like. I like tall ones for storage. The short ones, no. Where is one? Do I have one in here to show you? No, I don't. Anyways, no bueno, don't like them. Actually, I think I gave them to my sister-in-law. <laughs> Um, canning lids, probably paid like a dollar a box more than I would from the grocery store if you can even find them at the grocery store. If they even let you buy 10 boxes. I did at one grocery store find wide mouth lids and I think I bought 15 boxes to share with family and friends too. Um, so that's why I only bought the small mouth ones. I would not buy canning jars from them. Their canning jars were really expensive way over my what I would pay price. So that for sure wasn't. And I did look at the five gallon buckets um, locally. Um, so these cost a couple dollars more than what I can buy local, but the local ones are white with a huge low, ugly logo on them. And I decided for vanity's sake, and they're the same ones as our feed buckets. For vanity's sake, I was gonna spend a couple dollars more per bucket to have matching blue, it's not matching. To have both blue, so that it was very clear, blue are food buckets. So there we go. These are, that is my Uline order. This is the first time I've ordered from them. They are very fast. I ordered on the weekend, but it shipped on Monday and arrived on Wednesday. And it arrived like Wednesday morning too. Um, it's Thursday now because I had a busy day yesterday. I couldn't get it till yesterday afternoon because we live rural and they don't just deliver packages to you. You have to go pick up your packages. 
So I did that and then I decided I was not gonna open them until my children were not here. Now, I get to deal with all these. I need to gather up all the packaging peanuts, packing peanuts, like to society in a big garbage bag ASAP so that my children can use the boxes because they are so excited to use the boxes. They were like, that one's gonna be a plane and that one's gonna be a truck and that one's gonna be a boat. I'm really jazzed today because my husband texted this morning and I haven't heard from him in 10 days. He's been hunting and he's on his way home and he's gonna be home in a couple hours. So I'm like super extra jazzed right now. Um, and that's why. I also told you I would talk to you about why we decided to go to this. So if you, although my husband doesn't know I did this because he's been away for 10 days. If you watch my bulk videos, then you know that I just did a tour on my pantry and my bulk storage and my root cellar and all that jazz. And I pretty much just store things in the bags and boxes that it comes in. However, I've started to feel like we were playing with fire and tempting fate because we do have bugs and mice. Our root cellar doesn't, but the rest of our house, it's just a matter of time before I get mice or bugs in some of my things and then I have to throw them out. What if I had to throw out like bags and bags of things? That would pay for the cost of a bunch of buckets, gamelids. So, you know, is what it is. The other thing is that our root cellar is filling up with potatoes and there's even more potatoes to go in there. And quite a few shelves in there that could have crates of potatoes have dry goods that I have to store in there because they're open or they're just the type of packaging they are. So I'm gonna transition them to being stored in these, like my oats and my flour, even like my bulk unopened bags of garlic powder and onion powder and spices and herbs and all those sort of things, I'm gonna start putting them in buckets. Um, I'm probably gonna need some sort of system for like marking the buckets. It's probably gonna be a Sharpie. Um, but it's 12.15 right now and I need to have some lunch. And then depending on how ambitious I am, maybe I'll start filling buckets and film that. Um, but really I need to deal with the packaging peanuts first because my kids could help me fill buckets, but I do not want those packing peanuts. I know I keep going on about them, but guys, there's like two boxes full of these things. Like I haven't had anything sent with these in forever. Like, who even uses these anymore? Are they even like environmentally friendly? Probably not. Maybe they're the ones that dissolve in, like there is ones that dissolve in water. But I don't know, there's nothing like on the box or in there that says they are, so how do I know? I digress. Have a good day everybody. And I hope to see you in part two in which I start filling up all these jars and buckets, which is gonna be, it's gonna be fun.